Hello and welcome to the Internet of Banking Conference here in London. I'm Doug Drinkwater, the editor of IOB, and we're here at the conference to really find out how banks are changing. We hear a lot about fintech startups and challenger banks and how they're supposedly taking market share from these traditional legacy banks. We're also hearing a lot about new technology. Artificial intelligence, IoT and blockchain are all impacting the way that banks operate today. So what does this all actually mean? Well, banks today face huge disruptive change. Before, it was about cash, but that's now largely irrelevant. It was about cards, but they too seem a bit pointless. Today, we're moving to an era of smartphones and wearables like this from Hellenic Bank and other emerging technology. So how are the banks responding? I think the future of banking is a, is a transition from the old model of, of basically selling financial services to solving customers' problems. It really going above and beyond to help them with their lives. Banking 10 years from now is going to look very different from how it looks today. Um, will we still have high street branches? Yes, I absolutely think we will. Customers still want to know that there is a branch there to walk into when they need that help. Do customers want to go into a high street branch? Generally, the feedback we get is absolutely not. What they want to do is to be able to transact seamlessly, easily, in a pain-free way, at the glass. So they want to do everything here on their mobile. They're not really even interested in being directed to go and do it at your desktop or on your laptop, pick up the phone, go into branch. That doesn't go down well. You want to complete things in channel, and the channel of choice tends to now be mobile. We are heading for a bit of a crunch. So right now, everybody is optimizing banking, right? 99% of the fintech community is all about making banking a bit quicker, a bit better, slightly less painful, right? And there's a lot of mileage in that because banks haven't innovated for quite a while. Uh, and the challenging bank space are leading in, in that field of, of making banking less painful. Well, after we've reached that crunch point where we have, we have done optimizing the 20th century vision of what a bank is, then people are gonna start looking a little bit further field. And that's where we start unwrapping the concept of a bank. So things like what is money, who gets to create money, what, what does it mean to be wealthy, and how is that managed in the future? And that's where it starts uh, changing conceptually, and that's where it gets a lot more exciting. What we see already is that uh, fintech startups do not harm banks at this point, but it makes the whole banking process more transparent. So I think we'll see that those two industries, the established players and the fintech startups, will merge into a new service which probably won't recognize as fintech or as a bank. Over time, uh, I believe that there are going to be huge changes. I mean, this is only the beginning. And um, uh, with a lot of this innovation going on at the moment, uh, there's a lot of uh, work to be done uh, in all of these digital channels um, and in digitizing banks inside out, not just the customer facing part, but internally as well, because that's really where the constraints are. It's mainly three main elements. Um, it's uh, infrastructure, process, and culture. So one the, once these areas are addressed within each bank, then uh, you will be able to transform it properly and uh, transform back-end and front-end. I think there's a number of trends that have uh, driven a lot of change in the last few years and will continue to do so. So namely that the competitive landscape has changed dramatically, the technology landscape has changed significantly, customers are doing things in a different way, and also uh, regulations changing with a drive for greater competition. So if you then to cast your mind forward, I think we'll see a greater variety of players in the marketplace, often those that are a lot more focused in what they do, so unbundling the traditional model. Um, I think uh, products will evolve. The idea of credit will probably be mo much closer to um, its point of use, i.e. a car purchase or a big um, uh, white good purchase, for example. Um, and I just think the banking ecosystem, as well as sort of at the top end, will look very different beneath the covers as well. So I think there'll be different technology partners and providers building up that banking uh, value chain. So I think at a very basic level, um, technology is simply making it cheaper to deliver banking services. And yeah, that's what we've seen from all the big banks over the last five, ten years, and, and we'll continue to see using technology to deliver the same products at, at lower cost. But I think the future is exciting because technology allows you to connect. 
It allows you to connect your finances with all the stuff around your money. It might be your insurance or your utility bills or your you know, discounts or cashback from, from retailers. So it helped, technology helps you solve more problems around your money, not just deliver the same old products at lower cost. One thing we hear a lot, how does this technology shape the financial industry? And fintech is the best example how technology changes uh, the, the game. Things become more transparent. Banks have to offer cheaper, better services, better user experiences. And that's all because of the fintech startups that basically give clients a better user experience, a better banking experience. Mm -hmm.